Again, some quick tips for the DC-1 drum computer. This is a quick demo of the new features of the latest firmware of the DC-1 drum computer. In this update, you can now use the rolls and shuffle functions with external clock. And two new Euclidean pattern generators were also added. If you have not watched the first two parts of this tutorial, I strongly advise you to have a deep peek into them. Mostly every aspect of the module are covered up, just follow those links. Now let's explain how quick and easy we can update the firmware of the DC-1 drum computer. Find your most recent desktop computer and go to the Sound Machines webpage. There you'll find all the informations you need for every product. But you need to locate and follow the page of the DC-1 drum computer. There you'll find some useful information, such as the latest firmware. And you can also download the user's manual. Now you should download the latest firmware. Locate the downloaded file and extract the data. You just need to copy those files on a mini SD card. Once the mini SD card contains the latest firmware, we're ready to update the module. Unpower your modular rack. Good. Unscrew the module from the rails. Remove the panel and unplug the power ribbon. Carefully insert the mini SD card in the holder on the side of the module. Plug back the power ribbon and make sure the red stripe is properly connected. Screw the panel back where it was. You need to push and hold down the two rotary encoders at the same time while switching the current on if you want the firmware to be uploaded. If it's done correctly, the LED matrix will indicate the steps of reprogramming. Now push the left encoder and turn the page all the way to see if you installed the latest firmware correctly. Alright boys and girls, we're ready to pump some big beats. Let's play with the new Euclidean generator. Push the left encoder, and select the Euclidean menu. Enter the page by pressing the right encoder. We will start with the Euclidean 2, since it is more easy to learn. If you choose the second mode, there are no parameters to set inside the menu, and the four CV inputs are automatically linked to the algorithm of the first two tracks. Let's create a simple sequence. CV, A, and CV. C sets the number of active steps, while CV, B, and CV, D scrolls the rotation of the patterns. The individual track length will still work well in Euclidean mode. The global track length also works perfectly. So remember that the second Euclidean generator works only for the first two tracks and all four CV inputs are already linked to their functions. Euclidean generator If you choose Euclidean 1 you open a second level menu with the parameters to be configured for the first four tracks. 
very similar to the second Euclidean algorithm, but you'll program everything manually. The first four tracks are identified by the numbers 0 to 3. The letter N sets the number of active steps. And the letter R sets the rotation of the sequence. Let's program some clicks and bleeps on those four tracks. You can assign some CV controls for the first two tracks. CV A sets the number of steps for track 1. CV B sets the rotation of the first track. CV C sets the number of steps for track 2. And CV, D, sets the rotation of the second track. With the new Euclidean functions, and the individual track length, and all the other nice features of the DC-1 drum computer, you can create quickly some nice evolving, and non-repetitive patterns. In this new firmware, the roles functions can now be operated with external clocking. You set the number of roles, by accessing the role page in the main menu, accessible with the left encoder. Then select the proper CV control to enable the roles function.
There is another function that can now be operated with external clocking. It's the shuffle function, or some might be calling it the groove function. Here's a bunch of sequences I created with some CV control over the shuffle function. Why won't we put it in song mode? Let's try it out. Those were only a couple of nice new features for the DC-1 drum computer. Who knows what sound machines will add in a near future. The DC-1 drum computer has a lot to offer, and has lots of functions and operation menus. I may be repeating myself but, I suggest to check out the other parts of this tutorial, for a full overview of this awesome sequencer. Hope this was useful to you. I did all this because I love you so much, you know. I could be right next to you for the rest of my life tutorializing your mind. If only you let me come closer to you. Like real close, you know. Really, really close. And we could dance and dance all night long. Oh, they are not snide, snide, they are